I said we were gonna work on Gil's mission, then we were gonna do the loyalty quests, and then we're gonna work on side quests. In the Gil, here's that Ket transponder. The spy used it to get his orders. What do we need from it? The location it points to should give us a fix on the Archon ship. <sighs> right. Can you do it? Think you can figure it out? I've been looking over the care tech we found so far. It may be a different galaxy, but physics still applies. Only so many ways of communicating across space. There. Give it a shot. Did you connect the... <laughs> Shit, turn it off. Careful. That is a direct line to people who want to murder everyone on this ship. Sam? I have the coordinates. The signal points to the Tafino system. We sure we want to do this? We have to. I know we're still we getting must. our feet wet. But I don't see another choice. <laughs> I knew running off to Andromeda would be dangerous, but shit. This is dangerous. Only if we die. Ryder? That is not... Oh god. Alright. So, now what? Locate the kit. Thanks, ship and the Tapinos. Read email from PB. Let's go read the email from PB. They're just coming up. I'm just gonna do whatever pops up, honestly, at this point. Let's just do whatever pops up. I, I That's true. She's not wrong. But it's just like, should she have said it? New project. She write it from PB. Hey, hey, uh, I got a new remnant project in the work. It's gonna be big. Come say hi to, in my room on the Tempest, will ya? Acknowledge. We need to talk. Oh. Lone Kelly. Come to Gadara ASAP. Okay. Non-work related email from Michelle. Writer, I told Em and PB and Lexi a children's story that the mothers used to tell us when we were small. It's from our oral, oral history of the time before the scourge. The crew said I should write it down so that it can be added to the cultural center on the Nexus. The wayward child. Long ago, there was a child who was very stubborn and wouldn't listen to anyone, any wisdom, not from her father nor her many mothers. One day, seeking adventure, she snuck aboard the spaceship with an unknown destination. The child was brave to see it seek adventure. However, she ended up getting spaced with a load of garbage. Deserved. She froze in the cold vacuum of space and died. The end. I don't know how, why the crew enjoyed it. It's a terrible story meant to scare youngsters into obedience. Is this a novelty to your people? If so, how do you humans keep children from hurting themselves? <laughs> oh god, y'all. On god. Let's go talk to people. Yes, I feel like PB always wants to talk to me. I take it you moved your stuff over from the Nexus? Yeah, my squatter's paradise is all the more cluttered. What's up? Um, okay, she doesn't want to talk to me. Thanks for chatting. You. We'll talk again later. You know it. Okay, perfect. Just making sure. Hi there. Just checking in. What's up? Thanks for chatting. It says I talk to later. her, but... You know it. Okay, anyway, I guess that's just glitched. So let's do something else. Oh! Didn't I say... Didn't I say... Let's just go down the line of these. Shall we? Yeah, we'll just go down the line. PB's isn't working, but we'll do it in a second. Because it'll probably just have to reset. They're orbiting Gadara. We have to go to Aya. Here we go. Oh, there's so many. Oh my god, there's so many. I'm getting overwhelmed. But I'm gonna do as much as I can. All right, ready? Pinch it, Chewy. Love it. This 
this I love it. Was mostly unexplored. It was charted once. Then the scourge happened. What's old is new. Anomaly detected. Oh, okay. Deploying probe. Wait, we've I never been something. here? Did it say we had to go to the I'm confused. Was this did I wonder to the right planet? <laughs> oh, I love doing this. Like it's so cool. Oh, I love the graphics in this game. I love them. That looks like one of like our memory things. This element zero? Wait, I feel like we're not. Wait, this is where we are. Oh wait, no, I went to the wrong place. Oh my God. We'll go back. All right. All right, Chewie, punch it again. <laughs> ah! <gasps> I hit my funny bone. <gasps> oh, my whole arm just. Oh, oh, my arm. Oh no. Let's see you get. You're not. I can't be playing around. I'm like a gajillion years old. I'm not a child anymore. Oh, that really. <laughs> Good to be back here. Ready to hit those scans? What am I looking for? Moran called out supplies that may have useful properties for our tech. We just need to get Sam's eye on them. Take a stroll. Enjoy the market. Napsen. All right. He's like, just chillax a bit. Chillax, relax. Oh, there's an exclamation mark. Who needs help? I will help you. Later, though. I'm a little busy right now. Rider. They're like, you're not supposed to. Day, Nexus. Liam? God damn it. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Just come grab a table with me. What? That was weird. Liam? Is there anything you'd like to share with the class? Pathfinder, you're good here. We'll worry about the data another time. Liam, what's going on? I, uh, figured we should end up somewhere nice and open. You were being cased. Did the loose scan? Are you getting me in trouble? What was this about? We're not in trouble exactly. But I don't blame them for being angry. I wanted to get data that would help yields at our outposts. Varan told me what to scan, but I called it off. I still owe her, but it's better than pissing off some gouging hardliner. Sorry I didn't clue you in. It's a security thing. Food is security. Sounds like stealing. Was this an attempt to copy their methods? Steal secrets? We're not competing companies. It's about learning to live here. Remember my Tempest freakout? I tried proper channels. Got blocked by the Angara and the Nexus. Lisa? There's only so much Jar can tell us, so I did what we do back in Crisis Response. Bend the rules. Don't blindside me. Liam, I deserve better than having this sprung on me mid-market. You're right, of course, you're right. And the Angara are right too. The last people who showed up out of the blue were the Ket. The ultimate users. I don't want us getting lumped in with them. And I really, really don't want to ruin the market. Street food and shooting the shit with you? Feels normal. About time something did. Uh, let's go while it's still fun. Let's not push our luck. We'll save the market for another day. Uh, good idea, Pathfinder. We've enough trouble. Probably more coming. All right, we did it. So there is a couple things here. People need our help. Oh, here we go. Return the music instrument. <sighs> Do that. I forgot we had that. It's a good thing. It's a good thing I noticed that those are side quests that we can finish. The more we get done, the better. Oh, I oh, it's this chick. Shit, she's gonna ask for more stuff, isn't she? Oh, hello, Pathfinder. Any good news for me? Is this Angaran? I found it on one of your homeworlds. Sun above. It's an ancient Ravan, a musical instrument. It uses Angara's body energy to produce music. 
We have them now, but nothing is beautiful. The songs it played were probably lost long ago. How much culture have we forgotten? Our music, stories, it's all gone. You'll make new history, yay! You're already rebuilding. Look at Aya. We have a long way to go. In any case, relics like this help us. Okay, bye! I'll come back when I have something. More? Stars guide your travels. More? More stuff to do? So we do have three? Oh, wow. Are there things? Two side quests. Look at this. Okay, let's just go down the line here. Uh-oh. There we go. Let's just do everything here. We might as well, right? Oh! Oh. Um. should have come to me. Shh, Axel, I'm all right. You almost died. Oh my god. What's she doing here? I'm looking for you. I asked the Moshai to set up a meeting. I don't want us to be enemies. Is this true? Axel, Ryder rescued me from the Ket. She risked her life to... Sloan Kelly saved Kadara. Look how that went. I'm different. <laughs> that is such a funny allies. thing. Equal allies. <laughs> you don't even treat your own equally. Isn't that why the Krogan left? How did you? I've been watching you. You're invaders just like the cat, except less cautious. What does that mean? The Krogan are fine now enough. in my gameplay. Do not trust them, Shovan. Axel. He didn't used to be like this. He was. Curious, brilliant, but the cat, even without exaltation, they change us. There's hope. There's still time to bring him around. I want to believe that, but his hatred towards aliens. I'll prove we can be trusted. I hope so. Ryder, we just received an emergency recording from Eos. <gasps> Come to the meeting room when you get back to the Tempest. Uh-oh. I'm busy! I'm busy! Is this a main quest or something? <laughs> yes, I'm built different. I'm different, period. Translated from Shalesh. The question isn't how the quest genetically modified us, but why? If exaltation is their reproductive process, Cat are a model of inefficiency if they can transform one life form into something so radically different. Then surely the cat must also be capable of creating clones. Wouldn't that provide more satisfactory results, especially from such a xenophobic culture? The goal of incorporating useful genetic material from other species into baseline. Cat uh, genetic material doesn't fully explain the level of effort they expend. Exaltation is a lengthy and labor-intensive activity. When I witnessed what I witnessed at the facility didn't feel like mass production. It was almost religious. There's so much about our enemy I needed to understand. Interesting, interesting. So there is more to be done. <laughs> yep. They're a little xena xenophobic. Okay, let's go visit our little thing here. Let's just finish everything here. We might as well, right? I'm already here. I don't want to come back unless I have to. Hi Liam. Hi Liam. Uh, oh. Liam. Oh, I'm like going. Oh, I'm doing twists and turns over here. Oh god. Oh god. The governor's on. Ambassador. Ambassador. I trust our people <gasps> had a smooth transition to Aya. It's Kumel Nanjiani! <laughs> Everything's going well. Good. Keep me updated. I'm out. I've never lied to a director before. What? You just lie? What? Pathfinder, it's a pleasure. I'm Ambassador Riala, chief diplomat for the initiative on Aya. I was removed from Cryo specifically for this. Quite the wake-up call. I can relate. I know what it's like. Jumping out of the cryopod and into the fire. You've had it far worse. My condolences on your loss. I hear you're to thank for our new ties with Aya. This is our best shot at an alliance. Now we just need to keep our people from wrecking it. 
no matter how hard they try. Uh oh. I'm not going to like this, am I? No more than I do. A Salarian botanist named Sorvis Len is here, learning how to improve our crops. He sent an urgent comm, saying a member of the Angaran resistance had threatened him. He's what lying. Happened? I'm not sure. Sorvis is an excellent scientist, but not the best communicator. I'm concerned this could escalate if someone doesn't look into it, but I don't have the staff to spare. Uh, I'll do it. I can go settle things. I'm a friendly face for both sides. That would be helpful. With any luck, we can prevent this from getting worse. Future plans. What's our end goal for Aya? A strong alliance is all we can ask for. It's what we're working toward. Helios is the Angara's home. They dictate the terms of this partnership, not us. We need them as allies, and they could benefit from us. But we have to tread lightly. Show them we're not invaders. Historically, when two civilizations meet, one consumes or destroys the other. We need to break that cycle. Initiative visitor. How many of our people have they let into the city? A strictly limited number, and only certain professions. Scientists, engineers, and scholars. The Angara have agreed to allow some of our people to work in Aya's research facilities. That's huge. It's more than I expected. Tan wants me to push for social visits, but I'm holding my ground. We need to move at their pace. They've been extraordinarily gracious, all things considered. I'll take whatever they're willing to give. Other problems. Aside from Sorvis Len, is everything okay? Need anything else? Actually, yes. Director Tan gave me a project. He wants more Aya natives to live on the Nexus. He thinks it will deepen our partnership. A few Angara expressed interest, but... None of them will agree to live on the Nexus without speaking to you first. Why me? After what you've accomplished? I didn't want to bother you, but... You asked. I'll point you towards the candidates. If you could convince them to transfer, I'd be grateful. Okay, bye! That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. Sure. Let's do that. Uh... It feels like wet concrete? Probably, look at it. Ew, that just reminded me of water parks. I mean, look at it, it kind of does. Help. Maybe, and there's like waterfalls and stuff. Like, look at this, of course it does. It's literally a water park. Hi, Liam. Oh, come here. I can't work under these conditions. What does it take to be left alone? Shit. Relax, chill out. sent me to check on you. You reported that someone in the resistance threatened you. Tell me exactly what happened. I didn't know Riala was sending the Pathfinder. I deserve no less, of course. I was measuring the photonic dispersal from the canopies when some random brute interrupted me. I asked him to move, and he got nasty. Said it was my fault his friend was dead. <laughs> Ridiculous. What else? Do you know what he meant by that? He ranted nonsense about a vessel and selling slots to outsiders. He got right up in my face and compared me to a cat. He wanted to kill me. I could see it in his eyes. The whole conversation made no sense. I think he was inebriated. Don't be so rude. I'm not saying you're wrong, but dial it down. We're guests here. Exactly. We shouldn't have to put up with this. When he left, I tagged him with infrared dye from my sample kit. Invisible to the naked eye, but not to a scanner. I'll scan people around the Resistance headquarters, see if I find him. You're supposed to represent our interests, Anaya. Go, represent. I have work to do. What the heck? This guy's so rude. That's 
What the heck? I hear it. It's down. I can't go down. How do I get down? L control. Oh my god. That works. I detect infrared dye saw this Len use to mock the person who threatened him. That's our man. Hey, Cora, I'm not talking to you. Leave me alone. I know why you're here. The botanist. You want an apology. I'm here to I listen. To him. I only have one side of the story. Tell me yours. It's hard to explain. Try me. Aya isn't big enough to give everyone a home. We each live here a short time and then move on. For someone to come, another must go. The exchanges are chosen at random. We call this arrangement the Vassal. Time of change. It worked well until now. Oh, uh, we upset the balance. Tell me about your friend. You lost someone you cared about. Was it because of the Vassal? That's one way to see it. When our leaders agreed to make a place for your people here, it came with a cost. My friend won a place on Aya, but he sold that slot so one of you could stay here instead. Sold it how? What did he get? Comforts for his family, resources to improve their home on Haval. He always put others before himself. That's how he died, fighting Ket on Vold. When I found out I was angry, said things to your botanist I shouldn't have, but I'd never hurt your people. Um, make this- He thinks you want him dead. Tell him what you just told me, and let's move on. Thought I was clear the first time. Maybe his translator malfunctioned. I'll talk to our ambassador, see if we can minimize our impact on your Vassal. We don't expect things to be easy. Only that you understand, nothing is free for us. All right, let's go talk to the ambassador. Yeah. Oh, we're matching. Interesting. Pathfinder. Any news on what happened to Sorvis Len? Do you know about the Vassal? The Angaran lottery that decides who gets to live on Aya? I've heard of it. Why? Angara are selling their slots to come here so our people can stay in their place. Including a member of the Angaran resistance. He was killed on Vold. Wouldn't have happened if he'd been here. No one told me of this arrangement. Well, we have to do something. Uh, talk to the Angara. Governor Shai is on our side. She'll know what to do. You're right. We need to solve this problem together. Yeah. Thank you, Pathfinder. I'll forward your proposal to Director Ten immediately. Okay, bye! That's all for now. I'm here if you need anything. Honor to meet you, Pathfinder. Initiative Pilot Marixis. I run supplies to your outposts. What brings you to Aya? Your survival supplies only Aya has. I'm waiting on clearance to enter the city, but it's taking too long. I understand their caution, but the outposts need these supplies. I have to get them, now. They let me into the city. I can help. I appreciate that. To start, Eos needs a way to produce food to support population growth. They requested Kiloa seeds to begin their own crops. There's an agricultural scientist who might sell some. I'll make sure to get those seeds. Vol's power grid is lagging without proper solar input. The solar amplifier would give him a boost. Oh my gosh, so the many things. Here may have the required parts. I'll see what I can find. Here. <laughs> Weird question. You don't have any Kiloa seeds, do you? I... Yes, I do. Need some? Yes, please. Oh my god. God, I don't have any money. This guy better give me some money or else I'm gonna be pissed. I'm so poor in this game. 
Uh, Shepard was rolling in dough and Ryder's just like a poor little girl. Everybody's like rolling in money. Her and Garrus are like literally blowing money out of the air. And <laughs> Ryder's like, I need money. Is this enough? It's perfect. I'll make sure Eos gets them. Yay! It's perfect. Um. Pathfinder, this is a tremendous honor. I must express my admiration for all you've done. Crossing the void between galaxies. Navigating the Scourge to find Aya. Incredible. The odds were against us, that's for sure. Yet here we are. Strangers from different galaxies conversing in friendship. Extraordinary. I am Mariko Darej, Chief Phoneron. It's an honor. It's a privilege to meet you. Tell me about yourself. I'm something of a pathfinder myself. Ah! I'm a celestial okay. observer, charting the movements of stars, planets, and the scourge. An astronomer. You know the safe routes out there? <gasps> Fun fact, if I wasn't going to be a filmmaker, I was going to be an astronomer, but unfortunately, I'm like, I want to do this, so. Fortunately, I want to fail in life, so that's why I chose filmmaking and not something. Nothing's been found. Your tempest is highly advanced. You know who he sounds like? Oh my god. Oh my god, you know who he sounds like? Oh my god, you know who he sounds like? Sam Riley, my love. Oh. Sam Riley, my love. Oh my god, he sounds so much like Sam Riley. I mean, his voice is a little less raspier than Sam's, but ooh! Sam Riley! Of course. Even Pathfinders need a good map. I'll look into it. I knew you'd understand. I'll provide search nav points. And when I can finally reconcile our charts with fresh satellite data, I'll gladly share all we have. Enemies! Oh, here we go. First fight today. Oh crap, the dogs! Wait, I have terrible aim right now. I just did the first fight today. Oh, there's so much more. Oh god. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. That works. Oh, are there more people? What? Oh god, I'm stuck. Oh my gosh, don't hide from me. Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Oh god, I'm clicking the wrong button. Another one over here? Find the missing satellite. Oh, what? Who are you? How did I miss that? Don't ask. Are they hiding? Jack was like, there's no time. Oh. Scavengers chopped those missing Angaran satellites into scrap. I'll have the Tempest retrieve what's left for transport to Aya. No way. Angara here. Just our people. No matter. Uh oh, I'm not gonna make it. 